Hello and welcome to week two. Now week two is a little bit late and I apologize for that, but my son loves me so much that he decided that he would share his cold with me. So doing that and then some other like really heavy spiritual stuff, um, I've been a little under the weather. So perfect opportunity to talk about eucalyptus oil. Now what is eucalyptus really known for? Besides uh, koala bears eating it and being like totally stoned out of their heads, which I don't recommend because I would think it would be pretty chewy. And now pot's legal in Canada, so why do you even have to chew eucalyptus leaves like anybody did before? Eucalyptus is really known for its powerful decongestant properties. Just take a look at Vicks. Vicks VapoRub has got eucalyptus in it. It puts the liptus in Hall's cough candies, you know, with their menthol liptus. The liptus part is the eucalyptus. So it's great for colds, flu, bronchitis, pneumonia, um, sinusitis. Best way to use it is in a steam. So good old fashioned hot water, boil some on, put it in a bowl, put one or two drops, that is all. Because otherwise you're gonna get choked out Get a towel, put it over, lean over, inhale. Inhale not only through your nose, inhale through your mouth and swallow it down. It kills all the little bacteria in your nasal passages, in your throat, and down into your lungs. So it works really, really great. And it works best if you can catch it right at the beginning of a cold that's coming on. This is probably a good time to talk about its anti-properties. It is antibacterial, antiseptic, antiviral, antibiotic, antifungal, and an anti-inflammatory. So not only is it great for any of your bronchial issues, nasal issues, it's great for aches and pains, rheumatism, and even arthritis. If you take a closer look at like rub A535, there's eucalyptus oil in it. If you wanna make your own blend, just take a carrier oil, Take a couple drops of eucalyptus oil, put it in there, and uh, rub it into your sore muscles and your aches and pains. It also helps with measles, chicken pox, malaria, and poor circulation. It oxygenates the skin, helping with skin infections and help keeping your skin clear. If you look closely, you'll also find it in the original Noxzema Skin Cleanser. It's also great for wounds, burns, blisters, insect bites, and lice. So let's have a look at some of its properties. It is a top note. The elements it looks after are air and earth. Zodiac sign. What's your zodiac sign? Resonates with Taurus. Yay, Taurus. It also looks after your fourth chakra, which is your heart chakra, the color of green. Also your fifth and shit. <laughs> fifth and sixth but mostly your fourth. Planets are Saturn and Mercury. Its characteristic is Yang. And the crystals that it resonates with are fluorite and aquamarine. You can use it in a vaporizer, a diffuser, or a room spray. That helps aid with headaches, helps clear your head, aids in concentration, and it also disinfects a room all at the same time. Speaking of disinfecting, you can use it in some of your homemade blends, uh, cleaners for your house. And I must warn you that if you have high blood pressure or epilepsy, you are to stay away from this oil. Remember, essential oils are medicine. From an energetic and magical point of view, it aids in communication, purification, and contact with spirit. Its energy is warm and dry, dispelling melancholy, reviving the spirit, and in turn, restoring vitality and a positive outlook. So if you're feeling like a change, but you're not quite sure how to do it, maybe you're caught up in some fear, some bad habits, eucalyptus helps to dispel those feelings and gives you literally room to breathe. Get it? <laughs> so it works physically and mentally, like all essential oils do. So if you're looking to make your own blend, it cohabitates very nicely with, of course, lavender, 
lemongrass, pine, cypress, rosemary, and juniper. So thanks for stopping in again. I'm Velvet. Till next time, which is going to be shorter because uh, I was late on this one. Sayonara.